Simon from What Culture Wrestling here, and I've got Leva Bates with me. How are you doing today, Leva? You well? I'm doing awesome. We had a uh, Fire Pro Wrestling World Tournament earlier. It was chaos to try to start it, but then once it got started, it was really, really awesome. Was that on the PS4 as well? Because it only just yes. come out. How did it go? Did you win? Uh, I was just the host. I didn't. Right. I did not like participate. We had eight performers. Uh, seven of them were celebrity guests, and then one was one lucky person who won the raffle. Uh, Auction. It was an auction, eBay yeah. auction. All the proceeds went to St. Jude's. Oh, that's so. Nice. so that's good. Who won the tournament overall? Actually, the guy who won the eBay. Was there any yeah, he, he ended up winning. Weeks. So it was his name was Jason. He's one of the fans here, and they gave him a belt. It was like a legit, actual, and it was like Starcast tournament champion, and it was all like signed by Cody already. It was nice. It was he, really, really he's cool. living the dream. I signed it too. So. Have you played any of Fire Pro Wrestling on the PS4? Because that's quite a big deal that finally coming out on the PlayStation. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's so much fun. It's it's a lot of fun. I actually met the Fire Pro guys at CEO Gaming earlier this nice. year. I got to play against Kenny and Coda. Uh, it was me and Alex Chibaley, the guy who runs CEO, versus them. Alex lost it for us. It was not me who got <laughs> pinned. I was actually kicking a lot of butt when he got pinned because it was a tur like tornado tag. Yeah. So he didn't have to be tagged in. It was just all of us, all for one, basically. That makes sense. So... So as we're here now, what's the best wrestling game of all time? Oh my God, that's so hard. You can uh, just say one of, that's fair, because I have just sprung that question on you from nowhere. I don't remember which one it was on the Game Boy. Remember the one that was on the, the original Game, Game Boy, the one that had the Mr. Perfect theme? I, I would just let the Mr. That. Perfect. I would turn it on the Game Boy and just let the Mr. Perfect theme play. Do you remember it's a black and white? I do remember, yeah. What was that one? I, I mean, Phil, do you know? Phil doesn't know either. Yeah, I don't That's remember the nice name choice. of it. But the, the, the WWE so the was WWF game at the time. Like that. But yeah, that was the one I played like religiously on the handheld, like original Game Boy. Uh, and I would just play Mr. Perfect's theme over and over and over, just walk around. Like I didn't know I was setting myself up for wrestling while I would just walk into a room with this playing. So really, a Game Boy uh, is responsible for your whole favorites. wrestling career. Uh, I currently super love the the Fire Pro yeah, one. Like yeah. I'm not putting over my my friends and the company that helps me out, but no, nah, I, I really love that game. That's a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna say if it's not that one, then definitely that. I don't remember the name of it because I just don't it worry. was the wrestling. It was my WWE game I had. Cause I was Everyone like, in the comments now is telling us, so it's fine. So, yeah. So moving on to wrestling here at All In, how's the weekend treating you? Are you enjoying Starcast? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's Friday, so for me, it's the first day. Uh, I was here last night. I ended up actually, uh, do you know Mega Ran, the rapper? We were talking to him yesterday yes, at Pro he, Wrestling Tees. Oh, that's awesome. He uh, he had a concert last night. He and did. I was his, Yeah, I was his host. He uh, booked me to be his host. It's kind of a thing we do now, like at WrestleMania, so it's two WrestleManias now, and now StarCast. Every time he has a show, I'm like his celebrity host. So, oh, that's nice. so that's it's because I, I, I'm actually a huge fan of the nerdcore music culture. Yeah. So uh, we knew each other before then, and then we just ended up becoming friends because of that. And then we both are friends with Xavier Woods, and just weird circle of friendship. And then we became good friends ourselves. So yeah, I'm I was his host last night. I like it. So at the Emporium <laughs> Arcade Bar, it was actually a really good time. The bar gave me like a free cup of coins. And it was awesome. So I I was playing games because it's an arcade bar. Oh, I see. So I ended up putting in a good chunk of coin into MJ's Moonwalker and beat it. And then after the concert, after the concert, they had the Die Hard Arcade game. I, I didn't know it existed. Game. So I was like, let me try this <laughs> so out. Good. I used a good chunk of coins and beat it. Spoiler alert, if you're playing with someone. So like he was John McClane, a uh, one of the, the fans was John McClane. And then I was, the, I guess, the, the wife or some- Mrs. You know, McClane, we'll call her. All right, we'll call her, yeah, Miss McLean. <laughs> and then you save the kid at the end. Spoiler. The kid's like, you guys got to fight each other. So you have to fight each other at the end after you beat the bad guy. Uh, I won. And then <laughs> they were like, they asked him if he wanted to play again. And, of course, he was like, oh, yeah. I beat him again and told him to stay down. And so I ended up winning the whole game. It's like player two wins. So that was me. Done. I actually beat and won Die Hard. But... Why would they do that? That's like the double dragon thing. He's, that's probably why, right? To get that kind of reaction. And right now, you're still reacting you know, to it. I wonder if it's by the same people, because uh, the graphics were very kind of similar. Maybe I have to research this. Because it was like, what, what kind of kid 
It was like, oh, you just saved me, but now we have to fight each other. An asshole kid. Yeah, apparently she is. Yeah, so. an asshole kid. Did that you... kid's a jerk. <laughs> One quick question before we let you go as well, because I am always intrigued about it. Obviously, you used to be known as Blue Pants. <laughs> Where did that come from? I mean, wrestling is a wacky profession, as we know. Blue Pants is a very, very specific gimmick. It is. It's a joke. It was a joke that took off. And we decided to play with it. It was, I was literally supposed to be a one time, one thing. I didn't even have a name. It was like, you know, jobber number one, come in, Carmela's debuting. But then uh, they, you know, had the boys do the match. And then they were like, oh, well, we have a surprise for you, Carmela. So as a joke, they were like, uh, hey, oh, girl in the blue pants, come on down. So when they were practicing that, like they were going over what they were supposed to say. I was wearing the blue pants to, because I forgot my shorts to to kind of roll around in. So like, I just put these on, because I, I I'm a cosplayer, so I brought like probably like 20 different outfits to choose right. from. But the blue pants were like the comfortable ones. They're kind of like you know I can work, you know work out in this. You know, they wanted to work on a few things. Like hey, here we go. So I'm like oh girl, the blue pants, come on down. And Sarah Mato looked at me. She goes, well I guess you're wearing the blue pants. So I'm like okay. So I, you know, came out in the blue pants. So when they said that, I came out and then get hometown of Orlando. I guess people recognize me. I don't know, or maybe they just thought it was funny because they started chanting blue pants. And he goes, "Hey, old girl in the blue pants." And I'm like, "I love my blue pants. What's wrong with my blue pants?" I was just like, you know, instead of getting mad about it, yeah. I played it up because that's just how I am. And it got a blue pants chant. So when I went in the back, they were like, "You." You guys got a blue pants? What? Like, Triple H goes, you got a blue pants? Chan I, and he just starts laughing. <laughs> I, I can't even. I guess your blue pants, away. right? So, and then uh, I got a call, like, the next taping, like a few days before the next taping. Hey, we're going to try to bring you back and see what happens. Because that was pretty over. So I came back, and then I got the blue pants chant before I even came out. Because Carmela came out, and the first thing they did was chant Blue Pants. So I'm standing behind the curtain, and I'm with the Ascension, because Ascension was like right behind me, so they were just kind of waiting there. And I looked over at them, and they were like, you got a chant before you even came out. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't even, I'm not even supposed to be here. <laughs> so, so why aren't you there now, though? What happened? Why is the NXT dream dead? Uh, no, it was just the, the, the joke kind of ran its course. Uh, I mean... Honestly, I got injured, Yeah. and the time out, by the time I I got back, I, I think they thought that, okay, the <laughs> I see y'all, I see y'all photobombing. I see what they're doing, playing around. That was ACH guy. and Eddie He's Kingston. <laughs> I'm on YouTube right now. Because you're, you're more in better shape pretty jacked up, brother. Oh, that's very kind. I am a wrestler, actually, as well, yeah. The world culture. That's, this is what we're doing right now, recording world culture. I mean, you are, yeah, you literally are. You're saying nice things about me. You're right. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. Hi, Hi honey. <laughs> there we go. And that's that. That interview's dead. Ruined by, by two guys. Thanks, guys. I should say, thank you very much, Lever. I really appreciate that. And good luck with everything going forward. That's that. That's why you don't do interviews at conventions. <laughs>